happy Sunday morning tatsters. Sunday morning again. Time to get some cool stuff. Today's video should be a bit more of an interesting one as I've got a new uh, GoPro setup. Got myself a cool Dr. Martin's black backpack with a shoulder attachment. So it's not gonna be chest mount. I'm not gonna be wearing my bra anymore now that the weather's warming up. Got a clip on my shoulder so it should be less awkward rather than bang in the middle if there is not much boot sale footage then you know why then it's going to be pointing over there or up in the sky or it hasn't worked so this is an experiment hopefully it works well i think lonnie garage flips in america does this might get a bit more footage as well actually if it's sort of out the way and out of mind we'll see right, i need to get going because i haven't got any money on me so cash point first Let's get there, let's find some cool stuff, shall we? Let's go. Um, what do you want for them? Back to the hair straighteners. Or very near or far. Oh, it's on the antenna. What's on the chairs? Uh, yep. There you go. Cheers. Video first. I tried it last night, it just seems to work. Yeah, yeah, so. okay. Have you got the remote control with you? Or? Um, no, but I think you can, you can get um, uh, you can get kind of neutral remote controls, I don't know, work on this. Uh, yeah, I haven't got that actually because uh, okay, like a sensible offer. I mean, uh, I'm not very good negotiators, just yeah, because really um, apparently they're hard to get these days because they have you can't get the heads anymore, so they're quite they're getting quite rarer actually. So, yeah. Yeah, you can get higher end ones and stuff. Yeah, well, I think it's a good, well, Bush is a good make, isn't it? So. Yeah. Three pound. Go on then, go on. Yeah. Then. Yeah, it's, yeah. I'd go with fiver if it had the remote, but no, okay. that's fine. Yeah, three's okay. fine, okay. yeah. Okay. I did turn it on last night, it seems to be okay. Yeah, it's fine, yeah. I don't know, I have got a bag. Or... I've got a bag, it's fine, I'm prepared, oh. yeah. <laughs> oh, just a. Everywhere we went, it's um, just the key for which one? Oh, for the both, together. yeah. Uh, Ooh, uh, uh, three pound? I'm doing both for yeah. a fiver. Five, yeah. Yeah, go then, that's fine. Yeah. Um, are you on YouTube? I am. Uh, one of your subscribers. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. Thank you. How long have you been watching? Oh, just um, two weeks. I'm learning a lot. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, Good. Who's famous? <laughs> no, I wouldn't say famous. <laughs> Show that one. Yeah, I'll take that one, please. There you go. Thank you.
first boot sale done. Not the biggest today. I didn't think it would be so big because the weather all week has been rubbish, just wet and grey and horrible. But done quite well. I've got to pick up some more hi-fi bits for me hi-fi guy, so that's all good. Some massive speakers, literally a bag full of Furbies. Um, a controversial item, I'll show that later. Again, I've got enough time to pop home, have a bit of breakfast before going on to the Lazy Bones. So, I'll catch you in a bit. Here we are again. I'm full of pancake and tea. So I'm fueled up, ready to go again. I did, this is, I always say this is the one where I get my cool stuff. And last week, it didn't let me down again. Picked up a really cool vintage Mickey Mouse sort of pub sign, which is cool. I haven't listed it yet. But hoping for more of the same again. It's looking a decent size today, so should be doing quite good in here. How much is the video DVD player? Yeah, I'd get that one, please. Yeah. yeah. It hasn't got any wires, though. Like any no, it's fine. I've got plenty at home. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Let's don't argue that. Thanks very much. That's right. Thank you. Oh, there we go. All right. Cheers for that. Thanks. How much is a chair? And how much is that one? Phone? Five. We do 25 for that and the chair together? Yeah? yeah. I'll do that then. How much is that set there? Um, three pounds and you get a free one. Yep, yeah, sold. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, 1970s one. Yeah, Scream 70s, don't it? Okay. I've got a bag, yeah, it's okay. fine, yeah. How much are these ones? Three pounds, yep. Three pounds, there you go, cheers. Just like that, that's another boot sale day finished. Again, this boot sale has performed well for me. My shoe slash football boot slash boot sky came up trumps today. And he done well out of me. Spent 95 quid with him, but I got some good stuff with him. I'll show you later. Got a nice industrial type vintage chair. A couple of bits of electricals. Yeah, some good stuff. I'll see you at my unit probably tomorrow to go through what I got. See you there. Back at the unit, it's the next day. Monday today. Just gone through my orders. Uh, I've picked out again a select few bits. I'm not going to obviously show everything. It's because it'll take so long. I worked out what I spent. I spent £350 exactly. So a good spend up again. Some really cool items. I flipped the camera around and show you what I picked out. Some interesting bits today. <laughs> Should be fun. And here we have it. Some different interesting items. Obviously we have a controversial item here that I'll get to. Nice bit of vintage, nice bit of uh, shoe footwear, like quality. <laughs> and then we've got this little mountain going on here. And no, they're not overtaking or spawning. 
I've bought them like this. <laughs> so let's crack on. We'll start with the shoes. As I said in the car, my shoe guy came up trumps this week. Uh, but actually only these two were the ones I selected for the video because the others are bog standard Nikes and stuff. A bit boring to talk about. But I'll start with these ones. I have to pay up for most of his stuff but um, every now and then you get a good quality stuff like this. And these are, I think it's this one, brand new with tags. Nike Tempo, uh, what are they called? Team Nike Grip or something. Oh, here you go. Flying Knit. Yeah. Anyway, brand new with tags. They've even got their bag with them, which is really cool. Brand new. These are over a hundred pound boots, or so 120 something, 125 pound boots. So on eBay, they're going for 80 plus new with box or with tags. So from a 20, I'm going to aim for sort of 95, 100 if I can. Obviously, nice and light again. So from a 20, that is a good markup on these. And also from my shoe boot man was another pair of brand new tags and these are grinder boots grinders made in England sort of very similar to obviously Dr Martin boots these are a good size nine it's a good size for men obviously brand new never been worn really good treads on them probably even better than Dr Martin treads nice and thick feel really well made nice leather paid 15 for these and again these are probably sort of pushing the 100 mark on ebay these are at the same boot sale but from different uh, sellers We've got these are really cool i don't normally pick up vans because it's not really worth the time and space um but these were different got like a cool pink dinosaur on them and after a quick google i found out he's called the vanosaur or vanosaurus <laughs> which is really cool us size 13 so men's size 12 obviously big is good with men's I try and go at least size 8 might do a size 7 if they're special but men's shoes size 8 upwards there's no limit really I've bought size 16s before and they still sold so that's awesome paid three pounds probably looking at sort of 35 ish just because they are different normal vans don't go for that much probably half that but these are a good 35 40 without doing too much research so yeah they're really fun and of course I couldn't show a shoe haul without showing a classic. Some Dr. Martins. These are called Bethan, I believe, like a nice buckle design. Uh, these are size seven. I uh, believe they're women's, but I'm sure a man could wear these as well. If they've got slightly smaller feet. Nice chunky sort of gothic wedge there. Nice tread on them again. Uh, the leather overall is fair to good. Obviously a few scuffs that you'd get from general use wear and tear paid 15 for these which is really good because believe it or not even in this condition these are going to go for sort of 85 ish plus maybe probably 75 to 100 if i can and i like to push my luck so I'll probably list them for 95 and then take offers after a couple of weeks if they don't shift okay it's time to mention the elephant in the room or the fur bees in the room i should say <laughs> these are all from one seller at the boot sale my first boot sale I believe the, the person selling these, um, I see him there every week picking up all the bald games, which I get jealous of sometimes if he's got something good. So I was surprised to see when he was selling, um, he had like all these for sale for £5 each. Well, I think it was his wife or partner that actually sold these to me for £5 each. <laughs> so I don't know if he was asking that, but um, yeah, £5 each. The boxed one was 10 apparently. So altogether it would have been £70. I uh, got a bulk price deal for 60 so sort of they owe me sort of £4.50 or whatever each and I send these straight to Amazon and they go really well especially at Christmas like this rainbow one I think I've sold many times for sort of 40 sort of minimum £35 and high end I've got for one of these before 60 quid. that was a couple of years ago though at Christmas and it had this box so say these owe me £4.50 each on average, these are getting me £35 to £40, £45 on Amazon. Minus fees, that is a great deal. See, in when I'm doing an Amazon box, these would just be bagged and they'll go straight in the box. Not very heavy at all. Get them out of the house, forget about them and they'll trickle away in the background throughout the year. Especially at Christmas, nice little sort of bonus for me. Coming on to say it more me, more retro. These are, I don't normally pick up glass, but these are sort of brown glass, obviously 
tea, coffee and sugar canisters with their original lids. I think they're yeah, made in England, made by GPO, I believe the brand is. Um, I've had this exact same set a few times throughout the years. Uh, also got a spare coffee one, so I might sell that on its own. But this set here, well, they all owe me £3. This set, complete set here, I'll probably get sort of 40 ish pound for that I've sold them for before. Uh, they won't fly off the shelf, but they'll take probably a couple of months to sell. Obviously, nice and classic there, a bit of retro. This one is handy. I will list this on its own, even though it has no lid, because obviously the glass, they get broken. If someone does break one, they're going to go straight on eBay to look for a replacement, because they'll hopefully not break the lid. So I'll probably list that for sort of, what, 10, 12 pounds plus postage on its own. I should get that no problem as well. Hopefully we've got clumsy people like me. I was banging about my second boot sale being really cool for vintage sort of cool items. And again, it hasn't let me down there. Pick these two up. He wanted 25 pound for the chair and five for the phone. Got 25 pound for the two. The chair is, I've had this before. The brand is actually on the, uh, side, one second. There you go. Tansad. Tansad, sort of industrial factory type chair. It should swivel, but this one's a bit stiff, so I have to put a bit of WD 40 on there to get that loose. Like I've said, I've had this a few times before. It normally gets £75 plus uh, postage. Uh, they normally, the legs and the top separate so I separate them put them in a big box protect it and it goes with parcel force and then this was a nice little find uh, I sell the modern ones quite a lot this is called a trim phone uh, it, yeah there is a modern version which still sells well I think I sold one last week for 30 but this is good because it's actually an original here's the old sort of connection I believe they can be um, converted so they can be used today obviously it's a bit dirty not the best color either if this was a red or a nice louder color it would have fetched a bit more so say i bought this for five pounds this should without looking it up too much be a sort of 40 plus pound sale so nice cool retro item and nice cool sale so i left the controversial item till last and i bought this from a subscriber actually a nice fair price paid 15 pounds for this fox fur coat real fox fur as well uh, I have sold these in the past and I'm going to get them from auction uh, in the past I've got anywhere from sort of 40 pound to I think I sold them for nearly 100 before it's here controversial obviously animal lovers and all that but this is vintage item I wouldn't buy this new obviously I'm against buying new animal hair really um because it's vintage it's already been made so it just if someone does want it, it just helps keep it off the market really not my taste at all but they seem to be selling strong still so for my 15 pound i should be aiming for sort of 85 to 95 for this one and sort of for some reason coats sell all year round i sold a coat a couple of weeks ago so controversial not everyone's taste but i'm quite happy to say it because it is old and yeah worth a lot of money and there we go another boot sale video finished hopefully you found that interesting even i found it interesting this week going through these items really cool mix of things especially the furbies i think that's brilliant sort of a furby army taking over fox fur coat a bit controversial but like a bit of controversy <laughs> nice brand new quality items with the football boots and the grinder boots which is great really good vintage items for my vintage side of the business and my website on my facebook page plenty of stuff to be getting on with so i best get to it thanks for watching make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe for my future videos and lives i'll catch you in the next one bye